Hey everybody, Michael Posnick, Century 21 Northumberland. Welcome to my not-so-weekly weekly update on everything PEI real estate. We'll start with the new exciting listings, beginning with 2093 Middleton Road in the Concord area. This is about a 17-acre uh, parcel with a pond, a stream, many outbuildings. The house is absolutely gorgeous. It's a luxury home on one level. And there's also a cottage located at the back of the property on your own stream and pond. So check out 2093 Middleton Road. Secondly, we've got a, uh, a house that's going to appeal to a lot of first-time home buyers, and that is 170 Mount Edward Road in Charlottetown. This house has been renovated for five years. It's been vacant. This is going to be their forever home. Now, because life has changed, they're living in another city, so we've got that on for only $335,000 on what feels like a double lot with a circular driveway and a barn, which could be used as a double car garage, a workshop, or maybe an artist's studio. Lots of showings, lots of attention on that one this week, and it comes pre-inspected. I've covered the cost of the home inspection. 294 Bruce Point is going on and launching. 599.9, beautiful waterfront home, beautiful, beautiful beaches all the way around. If you're looking for a great waterfront uh, recreational Vacation Cottage, this is po possibly for you at the end of a dead-end road. Great spot, 294 Bruce Point. Uh, Sold's not a lot to report. A lot of offers going around. We do have potentially offers coming in on 7 Cemetery Road in New Glasgow, the house that I mentioned last week that's been completely overlooked. Uh, it's a bedroom, the 3,000 square foot bungalow on two levels with a water view and a golf course view of the uh, Glasgow Hills Golf Course in New Glasgow, which is just north of Hunter River, west of Charlottetown. What else? Financing of land. That's always been a common question. Typically, land's been really hard to finance because it can be really hard to sell and the bank doesn't want to hold that asset. So, essentially, they usually want about 50% down. However, just like houses, I always recommend the same advice. Talk to two uh, banks, two mortgage brokers, two credit unions, see who comes up with the best solution. Other things you can do is if you have a stock uh, portfolio, you can borrow on margin. Uh, companies like Interactive Brokers are as low as 1.25 to 1.4% to borrow against your account, which is awesome. I know a lot of the others are much more. Uh, I do highly recommend Interactive Brokers for that reason. And the other thing you could do is you could do a progressive uh, building loan. So basically you're taking out a mortgage, you're going to build a new house. The bank will put forth a certain amount of funds progressionally based on the stage of that build. So a progressional mortgage for new, new house builds would be another thing to consider. Uh, someone said to me, the market is cooked. I guess it depends on your, your definition of cooked. I think cooked might mean it's a strong seller's market, which basically means they can put whatever price on it they want, and then sometimes that's going to come true. So the word of advice would be to make sure that if you are buying, you've done your research and you're not paying $9.75 for a house you can build for four. And I have seen this. So do your research. Keep in mind, just because someone's asking a number for that house doesn't necessarily mean it's worth that. See if there's an appraisal or do a reverse CMA, a comprehensive market analysis. Have your agent or broker do that. Uh, million dollar homes. They There seems to be a big demand for nice, luxurious, preferably waterfront uh, homes. So not so much golf course. Golf courses don't really seem to add much here in PEI, but definitely waterfront. So for instance, 141 Point View, which is a completely overlooked listing, which is at the top of the market at 1.25, I think, going by memory. Uh, not a lot of attention to that. All of a sudden, we've had like four listings in the last week, three just yesterday and today. So that market is picking up strongly. People moving here and they're looking for that high-end, preferably waterfront property. I'm not seeing the stuff that's non-waterfront in Stratford and Charlottetown move as quickly. It's uh, so the $1 million buyers. Today is, and this season is the time to sell. Everybody looks at the spring to fall as the time to sell, when in fact, sometimes, most of the time, selling from fall to spring is advantageous because you have no competition. The other thing you can do is you can eliminate the fear that just because you sell in October, November, December, January, you have to move within 30 to 60 days, which is in fact not true because we will find a buyer 
that will close at a later date. So you sell now, you close later, it's a done deal. The only thing I warn about long closings that get into months is make sure you have a hefty deposit on that property. 10% plus or minus would be great. Uh, so a good deposit is always a good thing to have. Uh, alternatively, the thing you can do if you want to get ahead of the market next year or before the spring is get your listing agreement in place for now, for March or April or May, get your video and your pictures all done, your marketing material, so you're ready to roll before everybody else. Because right now the flowers are beautiful, the grass is green, the sky is blue. Now is the time to get those marketing materials ready for February, March, and April. If you have any questions about PEI real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell symbol beside it. Have a great day.